Welcome to the Unapologetic Man Podcast. The only podcast that's all about self-improvement, confidence, success, women, and being a man without making any apologies for it. What is up, gentlemen? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the UMP. I really do appreciate it. And guys, I have an absolutely spectacular one for you today. I've been so pumped to put this together for you, and I actually wanted to wait until my downloads warranted reintroducing this very episode that you're about to listen to, one of my favorite podcasts I've ever dropped in my life. It was episode 100, and what it is is it's kind of like a visualization, and it's called The Spartan King. That's right. I'm putting you on the battlefield leading your army into victory as a Spartan king, man. It's so sick. I put music behind it, and I didn't feel the downloads really warranted just how much work I put into this and just how epic it is. So I'm reintroducing it today. Man, this is going to 1,000x your motivation, 1,000x your confidence. I absolutely love this episode, so I'm pretty pumped right now to be reintroducing it. So here's what I want you to do. You can just listen to it right now. I know a lot of you guys listen to this podcast like while you're driving or working out or something like that. But when you get the time, I really think it warrants sitting down or laying down in your bed and really visualizing yourself as the Spartan King, as I'm going to walk you through this visualization. And this is a little bit of NLP, which is what I do for my clients. NLP is Neuro Linguistic Programming. And what I do is I guide them through these guided visualizations. Now, this lacks some of the other magic that I include in my NLP when someone joins my three-month coaching program. That's where I use the creme de la creme of my NLP protocols that I'll never put on this podcast because they're just too damn good, man. They're just too damn powerful. I give a lot of good shit, but that stuff is for paying clients, obviously. But this uses a lot of the same kind of techniques, the same philosophy, but really, man, this is going to get you so fired up, so... Get ready to be a mushroom cloud laying motherfucker when you listen to this. If you're at work right now, be very prepared that you're going to flip your desk over. If you're lifting weights, man, you'll probably launch a weight across the room into the mirror and shatter everybody's confidence and hopes and dreams because you're such a goddamn legend after you listen to this. So tighten up your pants, make sure your eyebrows look right. Make sure your toupee has a chin strap on it and it's nice and buckled tightly because this is about to blow a hole in your mind so big that even I could fuck it. So here we go, gentlemen. Let's jump into the visualization. You look to your right and you see hundreds of warriors lined up shoulder to shoulder. Each man is holding a shield, a spear, and a bronze helmet with a horsehair crest. The line stretches a mile long, each man holding his spear at high port, making a spike fence that's absolutely still in the breeze. You look to the left and it's the same thing. 500 warriors dressed in bronze, sweat, and scarlet red cloaks. You at the very center of the line. You look down and you see your shield in your left hand and your helmet in your right. Slowly, you put on your helmet. It feels sturdy and true. The smell of polished bronze, oiled leather, and years of preparation fill your heart with confidence, courage, and love of the fight. You hear the wind going through the horsehair mohawk on your helmet, the traverse horsehair crest of a Spartan king. You step out in front of your army and turn around. You're immediately taken by the glistening sun coming off the polished bronze shields and Corinthian-style helmets. The eyes of the helmets are stark black like some expressionless demonic army, ready to bring on the coming mill of slaughter. The sight of this army, your brothers that you've known since you were a child, fills your heart with courage, pride, and love. You notice every head is turned towards you now, waiting for your words, waiting for your leadership. You hold up your left arm, your shield arm, and yell, this is my shield and at once the entire army of 50,000 voices joins yours. This is my shield. I bear it before me into battle, but it is not mine alone. It protects my brother on my left. It protects my city. I will never let my brother out of its shadow, nor my city out of its shelter. I will die with my shield before me, facing the enemy. 
At this, the army starts marching. You turn around, wait a few moments, then you get absorbed into the mass of moving men. This is the Spartan Phalanx, a tightly packed group of warriors with a line of shields across the front. 50 shields deep, 1,000 across, you at the very center. You and your army march in perfect unison, each step drilled tens of thousands of times. A mass of men so fluid and well rehearsed, they become one. All the me's, all the I's, all the us's, they all become you, shoulder to shoulder with your brothers, with one beating heart. The phalanx is so smooth, so seamless, it moves over the battlefield like water. Now from the ranks rises the hymn of Apollo. 50,000 throats sing in the Spartan song of battle. And on the climatic beat of the second stanza, heaven shining brother, sky born hero, the spears of the first three ranks, including your spear, snap from the vertical into the attack. You can feel the weight of the helmet on your head. You can feel your footsteps marching in perfect beat to the trumpeters. You can see the enemy in front of you, out the eye slits of your helmet. You hear your breath, you feel your heart pounding. There they are, just a half a mile across the field, that's smooth as a school teacher's desk. The enemy, now full of piss and vinegar, and no longer able to be held by their officers, lets out a deafening battle cry that echoes off the adjacent mountains. They start to charge. The ground shakes like an earthquake. Your army keeps marching in perfect order. Not even one warrior so much as flinching at this otherwise terrifying sight. The enemy, now getting closer, is charging at a full sprint. Your army keeps walking. You can see the whites of the enemy's eyes, yet your army keeps walking. Then, as if in slow motion, your two armies collide. It's like being hit with a mountain. The thunderous crunch of shield upon shield echoes across the battlefield, like 10,000 thunderbolts striking at once. The weight of their entire force is now pressing on your shield and the shields of your brothers down the line. The warrior behind you pushes his shield into your back and the man behind him pushing his shield into his back. The same thing all the way back through the ranks. The pressure is unbearable. You can hardly breathe as you're pinned between two pushing armies. But you're trained for this. The mind has many different rooms, some of which you should never enter. Fear is such a room and the solution to fear is action. You and your army find its footing and begin to push. The Spartan trumpeters, who stand at the very back of the line, start calling out the beat. Step by step, you begin to move forward. Shield to shield and eyeball to eyeball with the enemy, the raw strength of the entire Spartan army, pushing their king from behind. The spear tips of your brothers from behind you hum past your helmet over and over again, killing men so fast they seem to disappear into the ground before you. Step by step, this continues, your feet now walking on the slithering forms of the dead and dying. You glance to the right and you see the traverse horsehair crest of your best friend, Aristodemus, your brother that you've known since as long as you can remember. The left side of his shield overlapping yours, protecting your blind spot, keeping you safe in its shadow, as your shield is doing for your brother on your left. This wall of brawn protects your army as it advances. Step after step, thrust after thrust, your spear tip now dripping with the blood and guts of the enemy. On and on it continues, the burning in your shoulders, the quaking in your thighs. The pain is a gift of unmovable determination. I will die before I quit, you say. Suddenly you feel the pressure of the foe give way before you. A shout, half of joy and half of awe, springs from the throats of your brothers. The enemy are losing their courage and some of them are turning to run. The Spartan phalanx breaks up, each man to fight on his own merits. You break your spear off in the gut of some bearded mercenary and draw your Xephos, your Spartan sword. Left and right you're slaying the enemy with the swordsmanship you've been practicing non-stop since you were three years old. You kill three enemies so fast the last guy is dead before the first two hit the ground. Then some giant from the enemy four anchors catches you unaware, slamming you over the head with his battle hammer. You fall to the ground, blood pouring from your face, helmet tumbling into the fray. Just as you peer up to see his hammer coming down on your head, delivering the final blow that will surely send you to hell, the shadow of a Spartan shield falls over you. The hammer slams into it, then a bigger, ghastlier thud lands on top of you. Wiggling out from under the body of this enemy giant, you're pulled up by one of your brothers. It's Aristodemus, looking like a god made of muscle and bronze. 
with a blood sprayed grin he says now's no time to take a nap brother you both laugh and enter back into the fray on and on the fighting continues you break three swords cave in at least five shields and plunge discarded spears into the faces of so many enemy you can hardly decipher reality from some never-ending nightmare your wound is open on your head your skull shining naked to the sun but you know it's not fatal so you take a sick pride in it at last the trumpeters sound victory your limbs quake and tremble as you fall to your knees many of your brothers do the same having exerted feats of physical prowess that go beyond anything remotely possible were it not for war the army begins to gather around you you rise to your feet and very slowly very methodically raise your sword to the sky not with arrogance not with self-aggrandizement just the humble acknowledgement of victory without a word all your brothers do the same we score the life of leisure laziness and weakness you say we've instead enrolled ourselves in the academy of discipline and sacrifice and now we have this victory not over the enemy but victory over the enemy within ourselves what man wouldn't give everything dear to him to stand with us now and now with your intention i want you to float that spartan king off the battlefield and into your body as you're listening to this right now feel the pride of confronting your fears with a full courageous heart feel the satisfaction of moving into your pain willingly and rising above your fears to live a life that is worthy of you as a man paint the inside of your body with this feeling and let it seep into every cell of your being what is a warrior it's a man who fights regardless of the battle that lays before him and now i ask you brother what is your fight what are you willing to sacrifice for what is worth the pain for you to achieve you have a warrior inside you so let that warrior fight thank you for listening gentlemen i really do appreciate you listening i hope that worked for you the way it works on me man i'll listen to that sometimes before i go to the gym i'll listen to it before i go out at night to go talk to women to just give myself that state to get myself as pumped up as possible so listen to that whenever you need that dose of motivation it's yours for good and i'll tell you in my nlp program which is included in my three-month coaching program i create a custom nlp three-month protocol just for you and it includes things like that. We have something called the wedding scene where we take you through where you're just a girl magnet man getting all the girls. We have the heat seeking missile, reverse spin, Godiva, timeline process, trauma process, all these unbelievably powerful NLP visualizations and processes to essentially remove bad programming, bad archetypes, bad schemas to replace them with positive archetype schemas, programming, and meta programs that make you effective not only with women, but also with money, with your relationships, with everything in life, and essentially make you more at peace and make you happier. So if you'd like to jump on a free one-on-one -on -one breakthrough session with me, where you and I get on the phone and we talk about some of those issues and whether or not I think I can help you get past them with that NLP, go to my website right now. It's coachmarksing.com. You could also click the link in the description below. Fill out the quick application. It takes about a minute to do so. Then you and I are going to email back and forth. I really need to make sure that you're committed and not necessarily committed to me, but just committed to getting results with women. So I'm going to ask you to jump through a few hoops, ask you to ask a few questions before I'll allow you to get on the call with me. But if you're motivated, you can get on the call with me, man, one-on-one, -on -one, and we'll talk about whether or not you're a good fit. And don't worry, I'm not going to try to like hard close you on anything. It's only going to happen if you feel completely right about it and if I feel completely right about it. So if you're scared of some mean sales process, that's not my style. Here's my sales process. I care. That's it. I really care about my clients. I really care if I can get to this guy results. And I only take clients who I know 100% sure, 1000% sure that I can get results for. So if you're afraid of that, don't be afraid of me, man. I'm just a fella. I just want to talk to you. And I'm very, very good at what I do. I get my guys la hey to get them more ass than a toilet seat. And every single guy who comes into my program and graduates can attest to that, as do my testimonials attest to it. So once again, click the link in the description below and let's get 
on that one-on-one call together. Gentlemen, I do appreciate you listening and I will see you in the next episode.